Well, today is the day. It's October 24th, and if you don't know what October 24th is, then of course I'll tell you, and that is, it is PCT Registration Day. What does that mean? In order for you to do the Pacific Crest Trail, this trail right here, you have to get a permit. And there, it, the process is a little bit confusing, so I thought about just doing the video because and I'm doing the video as I'm doing it, not afterwards where I feel all like knowledgeable. I'm going to feel as confused as you probably are going to feel doing this. But so far what I know is that you register first, which means you register your name and you have a date, October 24th to I believe November 2nd or so. Um, we'll check in just a second. Um, and then once you register, you then on November 14th you get an email sent to you that will tell you when to log in and pick your start date. Yes, on the PCT you have to pick your start date and, and you have to start on that day. So um, yeah, so today is October 24th so this is going to be a long-term video because you know I have to wait until November 14th. Anywho, let's have a look. So instead of me just giving you some really great um, web address, I'm just going to tell you how I found the actual PCT permit page. I just wrote in PCT permit registration and then how to apply for long distance permit and I just click on it, right? And then it says, and it tells you everything you need to know. And then you scroll down and then it'll show you, oh, look, look right here. It says register, login, check availability. Well, you can't check for availability because it's not open yet. So, and I have not registered yet, so I can't log in. Now, before you log in, you can also see kind of like how does the permit release days work? Well, you have November 14th to pick your dates, but any time between October 24 at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time and November 3rd at 5 p.m. Pacific time, you need to register. Now, of course, I live in Florida and it's 12.08 p.m. here. So I can't register yet because what time is it in California? It is 9.09. .09. So I have another hour and a half to wait until I can actually register because they, you know, they wouldn't want you to register. Now I have to go to work at that time. So I'm going to do it once I come back from work. Okie dokie, I am back from work, hence the this. Um, all right, so let's look. It's definitely past 1.30 and uh, let's get this registration started. All right, back to this page. I'm gonna register. Ah, you have to send them a phone number. So I'm gonna type my phone number in and then submit. Okay, so there's a, it sent me a code. Okay, I put in the code that I received via uh, Text message, submit, awesome. Then you put in your email address. You will receive a code at the email enter to verify ownership, awesome. So hiking dancer, all y'all know my email anyway. Okay, now I'm gonna wait for a code from there. Okay, once again, confirming. Now I'm going to put in all my information, right? So it's looking for first name, last name, country, city, state, birth month, birthday, and would you like to support the PCT? So it's going to ask you if you want to donate some money and we'll send you an email with a link to the donation form to finalize. And then you hit continue. So let me fill this information out. Okay, so once you submitted all your information, you go to this page. It's talking about thank you and please preserve this trail. Then you have a video that you're going to watch and then you're gonna start an application, new application, and then also traveling with a partner. And then right down here, there's my personal information. That's why I'm not scrolling any further. So I'm gonna click on new application first to see what that is all about. So once I clicked on that, it says I can't do anything because I need to wait until the day probably. So, right, so I guess the application part is when you actually pick the date. Okay, so I am planning to travel with a partner though. 
So I'm gonna click on that. <clears throat> and then here, what will happen is, because I will be the one who is going to do the application for me and my partner, I have to send them this code and then they can link me to be able to apply for them as well. So I'm gonna send them the code. So I sent my partner the code and now I'm gonna just see what this is all about. It's like a two minute video. You can also click on the individual things to look at the permit terms, educational info, and then of course, leave no trace. So you can read through all of that, watch this pretty video, um, finish this video, probably then it'll get to four, and then you'll have completed that part at least. So it confirms once you click on all of this and you watch the video, it changes it to four out of four. This is what your hiking partner sees once they have given you permission to be able to pick the dates on November 14th and they link the account. Today is November 13th, which means today we got the email that tells us what time to log in tomorrow. And so all day I've been looking at my emails as well as logging in onto the portal. And um, finally I got, finally I got my time. My time to log in is at 11.37 Pacific Standard Time. So it'll be 14.37 my time. And so let's see, I got an email, so I don't know what it, if it looks like I can log in. Last time I tried to log in, the login site didn't even work. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. And if so, then I'll show you what it looks like. If not, then we are going to meet each other tomorrow. So let's see if I can actually log in and get my time. All right, good, so I will do that. All right, so once you put your email in there, it sends you a code to your email, as always. So you don't really have a password, it just always sends you like a code. And then I log in. And then I'm gonna do some slow scrolling. And then you go back to that second section. Woo! That is awesome. It'll show me. <laughs> It's funny because it's 11.37 and 50 seconds. That is amazing. All right, so see you tomorrow. Today's the day, it's November 14th and we are about 12 minutes away from login time. So let's get it going. All right, I have about one minute left. So we'll see what, that, what happens next. So I should have about 40 seconds left. 28 seconds. I'm wondering, is it gonna like start by itself or do I have to reload? Six seconds, oh, 16 seconds. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. The page doesn't do anything by itself. All right, new application. Woohoo! Start location, Mexican co border, end location, Canadian border, continue. Got it, got it, got it. Choosing the date. Continue. I want to end my trip. Um, well, we'll give ourselves until October. By foot. Huh?
Hi guys, final update when it comes to the PCT, and that is I finally received my confirmation email. So once you submit your application for your PCT date, it is in a pending status, and you have to wait for an email um, from the PCT organization that will confirm this date. And today is November 27th and I finally received the confirmation date. And so that was about 13 days from the day that I supplied, supplied, applied. So anyway, hope you join me on my PCT journey. Can't wait to finally announce it. It'll be probably a few more weeks before I do that and uh, hope this helps for future through hikers trying to get a permit as well as those people who are trying to get a permit in january so let's let's get the started let's do this thing